A new ag tech company has emerged from the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center, proudly showcasing the Phenode. Plant scientists say it's an advancement in precision agriculture. The Phenode is a smart crop monitoring platform. When in action, the phenotyping station performs a number of tasks. What do you think this thing does? Uh, it's, um, it's solar it power. Okay, so the solar powers, that's right, it does turn into energy. What do we feel on our faces? Wind? wind. Right, so we feel the wind on our face, so it'll do the direction of the wind, which is really cool. And it also has a camera. So right now, we could be getting our picture taken. A farmer could say, you know, they would be able to test the temperature and say, well, is it time for me to go out and do some planting yet? The children are learning about the phenode for the first time at the St. Louis Science Center. It's in the orchard, part of the GROW exhibit. It's nothing these kids have seen in the farmlands or gardens before. The term phenotype refers to the observable characteristics and properties of an organism. And the phenode is a smart phenotyping station for crops. There are many features for visitors to explore. To remind people, or maybe even to teach them for the first time, how much technology is a part of agriculture. It's really scientific and it's full of very precise measurements and a lot of what is called precision agriculture. The people behind the creation of the phenode are at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center in St. Louis. They have testing locations here and in cornfields in the Midwest. With their success, the plant scientists launched the technology through their new startup company, Agrella Ecosystems. Nadia Shakur is co-founder. She explains how the phenode is designed for farmers, growers, and researchers to help them manage crops. It's equipped with all sorts of different types of sensors um, that are gathering data in the field and transmitting it to their mobile device and also providing actionable advice for the grower to better manage their crops. Environmental sensors for wind speed, humidity, temperature, carbon dioxide, rainfall, and more. There are also soil sensors for soil moisture, temperature, nutrients, and pH. Shakur explains the phenode has many features, including imaging, that makes their technology unique and comprehensive. One of the most important aspects of it is the camera arm. So it's also taking photographs once every hour, both in regular RGB, kind of your normal cell phone camera images, as well as um, infrared. And the measurements are taken in real time. Shakur says the company's app will provide an interactive tool for the user. So through one app and one kind of interface, you're able to log into each of your phenodes and be able to monitor your crops, track them, get alerts, and then ultimately we hope to develop a system where then you can also respond with automated systems, things like automated irrigation or pest control. So this interface right here is an example of what the interface would look like on your cell phone or your tablet. It is equipped with readings from all of the different sensors that are on your specific phenode. She explains how how the idea began when they were looking for something just like this for their research and were surprised to learn it did not exist. So they set out to create it themselves. There are crop monitoring devices, field monitoring devices. However, they're not very flexible and they're also not very affordable. And you know, for our research purposes, where our research goals change, you know, every six months, every year, we need a device that was going to be flexible, affordable. We could mix and match different sensors based on our kind of our research goals. And we realized through talking with our network of people in the ag tech industry that this was a device that's like definitely needed. The phenode is customizable to the needs of the grower. The sensor suite is designed to be completely um, adjustable to the user needs. Such as strawberries. Using the camera, the phenote is identifying white flowers, counting them as they bloom. Combining that with data from the temperature sensors, the phenode is providing automated weekly yield estimates, saving growers from having to walk through the fields counting the flowers themselves. And for corn, the needs are different. A lot of the analysis is coming from the image analytics, so looking at the picture and being able to identify how green the plant is. Is there disease infestation coming in through to the plants? How much light is coming into the canopy? So for example, for corn, um, light interception into the canopy is really important for how much yields you're going to get at the end of the season, and so we're tracking how much light is coming in. And so a lot of these are gauges for how the plant is going to produce and help guides you to make better decisions as the crops are 
are growing to maybe change things like increase your irrigation or go out there and make sure you spray for a particular disease at a specific point in time when it's actually happening. Shakur believes the fee node is the next smart step into the future of agriculture and it's a proud part of the St. Louis Science Center's exhibit. That's what's really cool about the fee node because it is kind of now, but it's also mainly what's gonna be happening in the future, which is really cool. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.